All right, so today we're going to talk about the extraction balloons or the sweeping balloons. This is an Extractor Pro RX-S. The S means there's a stylet, and we'll get to that in a moment, but this is a 1215. They come in 912, 1215, and 15 and 18 millimeter sizes. So after you open the package, you're going to remove the blue hula hoop, and you're also going to need to find the syringe. The syringe that comes in the package is specific to the balloon, so you have to use a syringe that comes in the package. The syringe, as you pull back the plunger, will have a spot where it's designed to stop. It's not necessarily gonna be the syringe is all the way full. It's gonna naturally stop at a certain point. That means this much air will make this balloon 15 millimeters in size. What I'm gonna do is pull the balloon from the hula hoop. At the beginning of each procedure, we need to connect the syringe after we've pulled it back to the port that says balloon. There's also a stopcock on that port. You'll connect it, you'll inflate all the way to ensure the balloon inflates, and then we know that the balloon wasn't damaged out of the package. And then we're also gonna connect our contrast syringe to the injection port. We're gonna flush contrast through it to prime the device with contrast. Like we said, there's a stylet in this balloon. This is a metal stylet that lives in the guide wire channel of the balloon. This balloon is loaded just like all other devices, perfectly front loaded. The wire will kick out early. If you need to back load the balloon, meaning the wire goes through the back, the stylet must be removed. When the stylet is entirely removed, then the balloon can be loaded like normal with a guide wire. Typically in these procedures, this is a 12, 15 millimeter balloon. The physician is just gonna ask you to go to the largest size, which is inject, push your plunger all the way down and close your stopcock, it's at 15. If however, the physician asks you go to the smaller size, if you only push to the smaller size, your balloon may not inflate all the way. So what you need to do is go to the larger size come back to just above the smaller size, then turn your stopcock, and now our balloon is at 12. We can make micro adjustments to the amount of air that's in the balloon and the size of the balloon by doing one 180 degree turn of the stopcock. It lets out a small puff of air. I can take this balloon down one millimeter at a time. The longer my turn, the more air I let out. The faster the turn, the less air we let out. This will help during balloon sweeps when we get down into the distal duct. So once again, just one last time, up to 15, close the stopcock. If my physician asked me to go to 12, I could open, watch the plunger come back, close at 12. And then again, 180 degree turns will slowly bring the balloon down one millimeter at a time. When the balloon exits into the duodenum after a sweep is completed, always deflate the balloon entirely so that the balloon can re-advance up the guide wire in preparation for a second balloon sweep. Um, yeah, I think that's about it.